So far this quarter, intraday, the S&P 500 volatility has been the lowest since 1962. It's according to new research by Sandler O'Neill. How should that impact your trading strategy, if at all? Let's find out. Gina Sanchez and Boris Schlossberg are your team today. Boris, uh, the market has not been this sort of calm or quiet by some measures, according to Sandler O'Neill, in 50 years. Yeah. How do you explain that? It's utterly befuddling. I mean, the utterly only reason... befuddling. That's a, that's a very that's a tongue twister. <laughs> um, the only reason I can think that that's happening is partly because of the um, volatility suppressing algorithms. We really haven't had any kind of big macro crushing news come one way or the other towards the market. So intraday volatility is simply not just being driven by a lot of algo trading, and it, they're very very mean reversion suppressing. And part of that is certainly um, the reason why the uh, volatility is so low. I think for long term investors, it's just a a, a non issue. You, you could ignore it one way or the other. However, for short term, I do think volatility is going to begin to, to come back up. It, volatility always tends to be mean reverting, and there will be some sort of a shock to the system that's going to completely change the, uh, the structure very quickly. Okay. Gina Sanchez, would you agree with that? And how do you, what do you make about the volatility being so low? Or maybe volatility doesn't matter anymore. Maybe it's Actually, calculated I'm gonna wrong. I'm going to extend what Boris just said, and I'm going to tell you something important. This is an illusion. So the reason I say this is an illusion is because there's another thing that's happening at the same time, which is that intra-stock correlation has also dropped to an all-time low. So think about intra-stock correlation. When the market moves all together, that, that starts to approach one. That's bad. That means that everything is moving together and you get absolutely no diversification from owning multiple stocks. Right now, that intraday correlation, which peaked out at 0.9 at the crisis, is now down at 0.2. I just calculated it this morning. And what that tells you is that you have a tremendous amount of diversification happening, which basically hides volatility because it's being diversified away. That's one of the magical things about volatility. But that also tells you that the stock market itself is potentially coiled up, which means there's a lot more volatility stock by stock than you're getting when you average it all up into a, a weighted average. Hmm. And that means that if anything happens that causes the correlations to rise again, the, the rise in volatility won't just be a gradual rise. It will be a spike. So, so should we be I nervous? Think, well, I think you should be nervous, yes, but right now I would say that this is a genuine stock picker's market. Mark, stocks are all over the place. You're hearing so much news, noise, stories as to what's happening yeah. with policy, where policy is going, and stocks are reacting in every, in every which way, which means that actually figuring, how to, figuring out how to pick a stock right now is going to pay you money. I, I know. It, on that point, it was funny. I was looking this morning literally at some of the best performing stocks this year. You've got Tesla, the best performing stock in the NASDAQ 100, you know, sort of a green car. And then you've got CSX, you know, a train, a diesel powered locomotive that, that hauls coal. They're, they're both doing well. So there really doesn't seem to be a lot of correlation. Everything just sort of up or down on its own. Uh, good point there, Gina. We'll have you back. We'll maybe get some individual stock ideas from you as well. Boris, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Uh, folks, thank you for tuning into Trading Nation. Check out the live version in the 1 to 3 Eastern Time Hour of CNBC called Power Lunch. We'll see you there as well. Take care. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.